Hi, Lauren. How are you? I may or may not be watching the stream um, in terms of the chat, so forgive me on that. But I'll try. I will try. Um, today, I am going to be looking at the uh, installation of Mastodon Server, which is really kind of of interest for folks who want to run their own server. Again, that's not necessarily going to be for everybody. Um, and I understand that, but this is a way for me to document some of this stuff and uh, kind of get familiar with it, given it's in my wheelhouse, so to speak. So anyway, um, I am going to start there and see how this works. So I'm setting up a new Mastodon instance. This will be my third or fourth time I set one up for DS106. One for Bava Tuesdays, which I'll still be playing with. Another one for a fake one for DS106.social so I could document everything in streams. And then this is the fourth one. So it is the fourth for Reclaim Hosting. I'm going to create a server for Reclaim Hosting so we can have an instance there. And then if folks at Reclaim want to get on Mastodon and play with it, but apart, have a separate identity maybe from another Mastodon. Makes sense, right? So anyway... That's what we're doing here. I am interested in it because it's going to be installing Mastodon 4.0.2 and then also playing with digital digital ocean spaces. So I wanted to play with that. That's a new feature. And I might even map a domain for files, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get started. First things first, um, let us create a new environment. This is how I've been doing it. We're not doing it as a Docker instance. We're doing it as a VPS. So it's a Docker image, but we're installing basically a virtual server and then installing it on the server. So we're doing that with Debian 11.5. And that's that. So I just choose Docker image Debian 11.5 under VPS. And I'll do that again, Debian 11.5. So that's chosen. And then I want to make sure that it has a public IP address. And I think if I do that, I should be able to say enable. Um, I'm going to kind of leave that off and do that. Let's just do enable. This will give me a public IP address. I don't want that. So forgive me. I don't know how I got into that. But I do want the public IP addresses on, which is what I want. And so I don't know why I gave it an Nginx, maybe because of the SSL, but we're going to run the cert on the server. So we don't need an Nginx load balancer. Other thing here, I'm going to call it Reclaim Mastodon. So that will be it. I'm going to keep it in the US. That's fine. And I could put it in other places um, like US West, Canada, UK. I'll keep it in US East. That's fine. And that's pretty much all I have to do here. The only other thing I might want to do, and I'll click on the Debian here. Ah, that's not right. I want to click on Debian, do public IP version 4, and then make this, I'm going to make this a minimum 4 gig server. It may be bigger, but for now, minimum 4 gigs. And that's that. So I also won't need this much disk space. I can go down to probably 50 because I'm going to be offloading media. So 50 is very safe. It's probably even less, but I'll stick with 50 for now. And that is now me creating the VPS. So I got a Debian 11.5. I got the public IP version 4 on. And I have changed the cloudlets to up to 32 or 4 gig server so it can scale up to 4 gigs. And I kept the disk down to 50 gigs because it won't need more than that. I have the environment name Reclaim Mastodon. And then there's the region, US East. All good? Good. So that is now creating, which is beautiful. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to leave this alone for a little bit, let it create. And then I am going to look at some other things that we have to set up. And I'll even show you the domain. So here's the domain we're going to be using. It's They have a couple, Reclaim Domains, Reclaim Hosting Dev, Reclaim Hosting.com. These are all running through Cloudflare. The one I recently registered is Reclaim Rocks. 
That's going to be the name of our Mastodon server. Reclaim rocks. I tried reclaim.social, but it was taken. And then I was looking around and I was like, you know what? Let's just do reclaim rocks. And so we are. So when that server gets propagated here, it's going to have an IP address. And I'm going to need that. And I'm going to point that IP address in this DNS to an A record. And then that server will be pointed to this domain, reclaim rocks first step and we'll come back when that's done but in the interim i can set up our transactional email through mailgun something i've done i'm getting very familiar with now <laughs> let me pull that over this is mailgun and this is where we're going to set up an email for reclaim rocks um, so to do this i am just going to go to sending and i'm going to go to domains and i'm going to add a new domain this domain will be, you guessed it, Reclaim Rocks, and that's where our server, will, our um, emails will come from. So Mailgun's taking a second to load. So let's just see why. I don't know if I'm having, I'll just do a quick refresh here. I do have a couple of Mailgun accounts, so if that's an issue, I can recheck, but very strange to see a service like that um, have issues, but <laughs> knowing what I know, it's definitely not crazy. And okay, here it seems to be going. If it doesn't, it's no problem because we can set up the cloud media in the interim, so I'm not concerned. But it looks to be working, which is great. And I am now going to add a new domain, and that new domain will be called reclaim.rocks. And it's going to be a U.S. domain name region. And it's, uh, I'm going to keep it as a shared IP. That's a setting that I have with Mailgun. Um, and it has now created this instance of a in domain for email. At this point, I need to go in and grab these settings to create two text records, two MX records. And this I'm just gonna copy over into Cloudflare. So watch this. I copy the first one, which is this text record I copied. Then I put in the type is text, the host name reclaim.rocks, and then this value. So I'm gonna add a new record. I'm gonna call it a text record. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna call it reclaim.rocks. And then I'm gonna put that in there and save. Boom. That's one of four records we do need. We're going to need a second text record. And it's going to also be, I know it's not going to be for Reclaim Rocks. Let's go see what it's going to be. It's going to be for this, K, uh, k1 dot underscore domain key dot reclaim dot rocks. Not going to remember that, so I'm copying and pasting. And then I'm going to get this value, which is longer. And then that's going to be the second text record. Boom, done. Third text record is, no, third record is gonna be an MX record, not a text record. It's gonna be a mail exchange record. Again, reclaim rocks, the priority is 10. And this is basically to point my name servers to Mailgun or my mail servers, not name servers to Mailgun. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna to go to MX. Where are you? There you are. No, I don't want that. I want MX and I'm gonna do reclaim dot rocks and then mail server is that and priority is 10 and so that's we're going to do a second one and it's just going to be the same settings except the mail server is going to be mxb not mxa okay so let's do that quickly add a second record it's going to be an mx record and it's going to be reclaim.rocks no, spell it right, because that will create all sorts of problems if you don't. And then it's going to be mx, not a, but mxb.mailgun.org. And then this priority is 10, and that is required. And then we do that, save. Now, the final thing, and I usually don't do this, so I'll probably leave it out, is checking whether people have kind of um, opened and clicked and unsubscribed. And I'm not too concerned about this. Um, so I'm going to leave it off, but you can add this fifth record, which is a CNAME record. So let me go in, look at my records, 
tax text mx mx we look good so then i'm going to go here and i am going to see if i can verify these records and the mx records verified right away the text records did not so i'm going to see if i have a problem i just think it might take them a little bit longer but one of them and then if i do it again i bet you this one will go too no this one didn't so let's just see all right a b no that all looks right did my key reclaim no it's not right i forgot the s huh reclaim oh did i do the same thing there hopefully not it's stupid it's not yes that's right so i forgot the s on the other one and that probably is why it didn't work yep good to definitely good to verify your work as you can see it's done i had a typo that is now complete so my transactional email is set up we're going to need to now get the SMTP settings, which will actually allow us to connect it with Mastodon. We do that here. Um, there's the SMTP host name. The um, port is gonna be 587. The email or main mail is gonna be postmaster at Reclaim Rocks. And then we're gonna have a password that's gonna ask us to reset. And I am gonna do that right now. And then it's gonna have a little thing here where it says copy, and I will. And then I'm gonna put this in a text file that I'll come back to during the installation. So we don't have to worry about that password just yet, but I am gonna grab some of these details here because they'll be useful in a bit. Basically the host name, the port 587, and the postmaster at reclaim.rocks. Perfect, okay, so I have everything I need for mail. I can now disregard mailgun if there are issues we can return to that but for now i think we're pretty good um on that front let me just see okay yes i think we are okay so i can close off mailgun i'm back at cloudflare and then i am going to go look here and oh look at that my server has installed right so there's reclaim mastodon and i have all I'm not using any cloudlets yet because it's not really started. And I will have an email with the root password and everything I need there. But for my purposes, I need this IP address right now. So I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna go back into Cloudflare. I'm gonna add a new record, this time an A record. And I'm gonna put the IP address there and I'm gonna put the domain here. And at this point now, we also have the domain pointing to our um, server. So this is connected. We have the domain connected to the server. We have the email, transactional email service working. The final piece is offloading media. And so this is new for me because I have used AWS as S3, but at this point I wanna test using um, DigitalOcean. So that's what I, and they have a object storage like Amazon's S3 called Spaces. And so I want to use DigitalOcean Spaces to set this up. So this is going to be a kind of uh, a, new, a new world for me. And, all right. So now I am in DigitalOcean. I am going to create an access code or an access token for um, a new space and you can as associate these access um, tokens kind of like the secret keys for AWS. So I'm going to generate a new key. I'm going to call it reclaim Mastodon <laughs> or reclaim rocks. Yeah, let's call it reclaim rocks. Right. And then the key, we're just going to do this and it should automatically create a key. And then I can also get the secret key. So there's my automatic key. And let me go again to my um, text file. I'm gonna do that right now. And this is spaces. I'm kind of fired up to see if spaces works because this is new. And then there's the secret key, which I'll only see this once and I will change it because obviously it's on the stream. And then the other thing I need here is nothing. 
that's all. This is Reclaim Rocks. That's the name of the key. And then I have my credentials on top of that. So we are good. So I'm going to now go back to Spaces itself here. And I am now going to, I already actually have created a bucket called Reclaim Social. Um, let's just see if I can associate. So there's a bucket or it's essentially a space, but same thing as a bucket. But I'm going to delete it and do it in Reclaim Rocks. So I'm just going to start from scratch. So let me destroy this one. I will destroy you. There's nothing in it, so I can cleanly destroy it. Enter the name of the space, reclaim social. All right, destroy. So that's gone. And I'm going to create a new space. And the space I want to create is... Where is it? Where can I create? Oh, there it is. Create a new one. It's up top. You can't see it. There's a green box above. And I'm going to create a new space. And you'll see DigitalOcean. I'm going to put it in New York and I am going to allow file listing. Sure. I'm going to create this reclaim. I'm going to call it reclaim rocks. And then it's going to be part of our thing. CDN. I'm not going to worry about a CDN just yet. Um, and I'm going to create the space. And this should now create a new space for me. Um, in DigitalOcean and it's called Reclaim Rocks. So that's the name, which I'm going to have to remember. And I don't know what else they're going to need. So I'm going to keep this open because we might have to come back to this. Only users who connect. I'm going to keep this one enable. Has no effect on whether individual files are visible. If anonymous users can list the names. Okay. We'll look at that later. We'll see what that is. We might need this endpoint. So I'm going to grab that endpoint. That's information we could use during the setup, which is coming soon enough. So there's that. And anything else? There's a course configuration we might have to look at. CDN is not working. Okay. So I am fairly confident that I don't need to worry about digital ocean spaces just right now. So we're good. We got Cloudflare connected to the server. We got transactional email with Mailgun. We now have DigitalOcean spaces for a file um, cloud storage of files on that server, which could be nice, which is new. And I think at this point, we're ready to go to um, Mastodon's um, guide and go through installing this. So I have the guide somewhere and I can actually, actually I'll leave it like that. Where is my Mastodon guide? Do, 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 okay. Give me one second. Do join Mastodon. Let me try this. There it is. Admin install. Okay, so this is the Mastodon admin install guide. And I can pull this down a little bit. You probably see that. And so they're going to talk about prerequisites. We're doing it on Debian 11. And then the one thing they're going to say is they're going to um, take us through the install. Before we do, though, one of the things we do to prepare the server is you don't have to worry about the SSH-based login because you can do that through Reclaim Cloud. Um, you don't have to worry about the firewall because that's in part of Reclaim Cloud. You do want to update the system packages. And I am not going to install fail to ban. That's something we can do after the fact. So I'm going to leave that alone. The only thing I'm going to do is update all packages on the new server. And in Reclaim Cloud, you can just click right here on the web SSH. And it brings in an SSH, which is nice. And that's where I'm going to be doing this one from. And I am going to update the server packages. And then we're going to go through the whole um, install process together here now. And my goal is to get it all done in 40 minutes. We'll see if I'm so lucky. But that's the goal. An hour stream with another Mastodon server set up. Yeah. I'm not sure if anyone's watching. Um, Lauren was. But if you are, I can keep track on the chat every so often. But if not, no worries. 
No one's listening. No one's watching. That's the, the fate of life online. Okay. Reclaim Mastodon. That's going. So now let's go here to preparing your machine. That's the one we just did all those updates. That's fine. Now we're going to go installing from source. And this is where we actually start installing and preparing the server to run Ruby, Postgre, SQL, Sidekick, all the different packages that this server needs to run Mastodon. That's what we're going to be spending the next 30 to 40 minutes doing. So hold on to your butt. So right now it's a lot of copy and paste. And there'll be a couple of times when we kind of break from this and I'll let you know. But right now I'm on joinmastodon.org slash admin slash install just doing copy and paste. There is nothing magic here. So I'm going here and then I'm going to copy my first call and that's going to go and get some packages. Looks like everything's fine. And then I'm going to go here and looks like I'm going to install something Node.js related. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to paste. And that worked seemingly. Yeah. And then I'm going to go here. This is PostgreSQL. So this is getting the, the database info. I think I have everything. See that? I, I am making a, you got to be careful not to make a mess if you're me. So I'm going to do this. To get all of this. No, a little bit awkward here. Sorry about that. I tried to bring it down, but then it went to the system packages, which was annoying. So I'm just going to do this. God, that's a okay. See that? I'm going to go back. Boom. So copy that and then go back into my Reclaim Cloud instance. And then boom, boom, boom. Looks like that all worked. Beautiful. Off to the next one, which is system packages. And I'm just going to copy this all in. Ready? Let's do it. Yes. And here we go. Now I hear something on, you hear the boop boop. I think that's a notification on Mastodon itself, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I guess I don't really have to worry too much about that, but it's happening. Okay, so that's installing the cert bot. It's kind of going through the whole process. This may take a little bit, but um, yet another installation of Mastodon, which for me is very fun. I'm enjoying Mastodon a lot. And Lauren is tuning in. I hope you're enjoying this, Lauren. I don't know. You, there, at least there's one. And uh, this is a kind of shows you the tedium of setting up Mastodon, if nothing else. And then that's another stream where we have DigitalOcean. And I can, my idea with this one is use this stream to document and take screenshots for the official documentation in um, Reclaim Hosting, because I think recommending people use DigitalOcean spaces is gonna be a little bit easier than using um, Amazon S3, but we'll see. Um, plus, having more options is never a bad thing, I guess. So we are still sitting here. We'll see if this pushes through or not. But I am seeing that it's still sitting there waiting. Um, if I have to restart that, that's fine. But sometimes some of these, oh, wait, you know what happened? This is stupid. Let me just control C. I think... Let's see, uh, I had to, I had to click. Yeah, not, <laughs> I should have known. But anyway, it's moving along. Could be a lot worse, could be a lot worse. So let's see what the next piece is while that works. We're gonna install yarn or enable yarn and then set the version to classic. So that's coming next. And I'm gonna do a little pre-copy before we do. And this is at 48%, moving right along. 52, have a little coffee. 
Hope everyone Tuesday before Thanksgiving is going good. There is no Thanksgiving in Italy, so this is a wonderful week for me because everyone takes off and I don't have any obligations, <laughs> so I can just work. And I have some plans. I want to actually get Reclaim Radio to link into Reclaim Mastodon instance because the two are synced. So I think the latest version of Azuracast will have webhooks for Mastodon, which is exciting. So anyway, core pack enabled. I did that. And then we're going to do yarn set classic. So that is one of my plans for this week. A lot of Mastodon work. Good, that's done, even though I linked twice. And now we're going to do some installing. They're going to add a user called Mastodon. Because certain things you only want to do as a user. Mastodon, I'm going to put my name. Well, let me put reclaim. Reclaim hosting. Room number 106. <laughs> there is no need for a room number. I just always do 106. <laughs> anyway, that's all done. And then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to change to that user. SU, switch user, dash, Mastodon. And there we are. I'm no longer root. I'm now the Mastodon user. And now I think we're going to be installing um, some things. And I do want to see what version they have. Because did I make a mistake? Did I do 3.03 .03 yet? Do, 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 do. No, not yet. Because it should be 3.04. They, they switched. That's good. They, I've been ahead of the documentation for a while, but now it's updated, which is awesome because now this will work. So I'm going to get this, and then I'm going to just get each of these lines, copy and paste, and all right. And now it's a little tedious, but the end result is fun. That's, and I'm, I'm kind of getting familiar with the process, which is what I want. I really want to know it inside out because if people ask questions and we've already gotten questions at Reclaim Hosting around like, how do you run this? And I've been spending some time fine tuning the DS106 instance just to see like, what would it take to host and even support it? And so that's kind of why I'm doing yet another one of these. And that's good. So we have worked through this line, which is the rbenv and rbenv build. And now we're putting in the Ruby version, which is 3.0.4, which it was previously 3.0.3 .3 for the last version of Mastodon, but 4.02 now takes, this is the global version of Ruby 3.04, which is something I know because I tried to install <laughs> Tried to install 4.02 on 3.03. .03. Is that confusing? Mastodon version 4.02 on Ruby 3.03. .03, and it was like, uh-uh. But you could change it by just changing this line from 3.03 .03 to 3.04, and it worked. So, again, uh, I don't want to pretend I know more than I do about Ruby. These are just dependencies I'm installing. I'm just a janitor here putting stuff where it needs to be. I have no idea in the larger scheme, how they were actually working together and compiling. Truth be told. <laughs> so you know. Okay. So we're doing... Yes, don't. Don't. Amanda, welcome. That's cool. And uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I will be working on the doc, but I got two. I got two videos out. It's not like I've been sitting on my hands here. But Reclaim's a very demanding place to work. Can I talk with my ombudsman? Is there HR someone I can talk to? <laughs> I need to talk to someone. I'm feeling pressured in my stream. <laughs> Streaming pressure. <laughs> yeah, Ruby is a boogeyman. I, I, I found, though, that with this instance, it really is a lot of copy and paste. The real boogeyman of installing Mastodon, at least on Reclaim Cloud, is Nginx. This stuff pretty much works. This is just like push in, done, push in, done. It's Nginx, you're like, oh, white knuckling to see if it works. 
Ruby's kind of pushing through right now, but documenting the Nginx stuff, you know, there was a couple of things. Tim recommended some stuff. Taylor did some stuff when we installed it, and I found like combinations of both have worked for me. Um, and it changes on each instance. So that's the one that's really like I'm trying to make sure it's right. Okay. So it's still working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. HR, I would like you to, to not um, put anything on my to-do list. The thing is, cool, while we're sitting here is the guy who develops AzureCast is on Mastodon and was like, I think it would be really cool to build into the next version of Mastodon the ability to automatically send to Mastodon when someone goes live or what's playing, which is great for DS106 radios, Mastodon, and Reclaims. So I was super excited. So in this next one, you can see here on the... So back to the, the instance here. You can see here it's saying RBENV Global 3.0.4. But it also tells you that right here. It says, hey, this is what the new default should be. So I'm just going to copy it there, paste it, and done. Okay, so we're moving right along. We're here. We're going to now go to the Ruby Gem Installer Bundler. And like you said, Amanda, there's nothing worse than doing Gem Bundle Installers in Ruby. Ruby starts to get a little bit hardcore. And it's one of the reasons I abandoned Jekyll, frankly, is because I couldn't keep the thing up to date and manage it. So I think we're done here at this point. And I can exit that. And it will exit, basically, I'm just exiting from the Mastodon user. I'm now back to root. And here we are. And I think at this point, we are going to set up PostgreSQL and um, Redis. Now, this is where we kind of step off the script for a second, and I'm going to add two commands here that you're going to want to run before you start the next step. It's systemctl, or system command, start, and then postgresql. I found that in order for the next part to work, SQ, postgresql needs to be started. Same is true of Redis. You do systemctl, start, and then rather than post SQL, you do Redis. I was reading about it today. PostgreSQL is the database. It's not using MySQL. It's using PostgreSQL. And Redis is the object caching. So it's basically doing some caching in a separate server space, from what I understand. And Sidekick HQ is like process requesting. So anyway, I'm starting to learn more about the various systems in Mastodon that are working. But I do know for it to work in Reclaim Cloud, these two commands need to be started and entered before doing the next piece. Okay, so first caveat. Then we're going to go here, and this is talking about setting up post um, GRI, SQL. I don't do this optimization with the PG Tune. I've done that after. I guess if you're into that, you can, but this tutorial is not going to take you through that because... I brought the DS106 server down today because I was using PJ tune, PG Tune in some of those settings. And so I am a little bit like nervous about it. So I'm going to go with simple and use the default settings here. And then I'm going to create a uh, Postgre user. And that's that. And then I am now going to, actually, that's to get into Postgre. Now I'm going to create the user. And it was created, <laughs> we're done. And next, we are going to switch back into the user Mastodon. And now I think we're gonna go through the setup. And this is where we put in the different stuff. All right, yeah, so let's try this. We're gonna do git clone. And so we're gonna get the latest version of Mastodon. That's all that's doing is it's a command that's saying, go get the latest version of Mastodon. I almost know what I'm talking about, almost, but not really. And then once that runs, I am going to check it out. So check it out. And great, no issues there. We're 4.0.2, that's the version, that's good, that's where we wanna be. 
Um, and then now we're doing the final dependencies before we actually go through the installer for Mastodon. This is just prepping the server. This is not having installed server. We have the package of Mastodon on there now, but we're still doing dependencies and prepping of the actual server before the installation, FYI. So there's no real, like Mastodon's not running yet, if you will. And I think we did hit a little error um, before. Uh, oh no, actually we didn't. We might hit it here, but I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, this is fetching more gems. Perfect. There we go, all pushing through. And then another final line. And again, I'm just doing a lot of copying and pasting here from the join Mastodon official install from source doc. That's what I'm using, right? So that's still working. Great, let me check the chat, make sure I'm not ignoring anybody. Okay, same, <laughs> exactly, yeah. I, I imagine that same is referring to the fact that you have abandoned Jekyll. Um, yeah, it was too hard, and I even tried to use that kind of a simplified version of Omega called Wax for exhibits, and I liked what it was doing, but it was running in Jekyll. I couldn't get it to run on Reclaim Cloud, which was just insane. It shouldn't be that hard. Okay, so there you start seeing the first mention of Sidekick, which is what I'm learning a bit more of a, it's dealing with some of the, the processing and I think the activity hub or activity pub that actually makes Mastodon federated, but it can be a resource hog I'm learning. So that's interesting. So I think we have a lot of that set up and I think at this point we've hit no real errors. And I think at this point, yeah, we're ready to do the Mastodon setup. So this is the Ruby on Rails app setup, I believe. So let's just see. I did it twice, so let's not make that mistake. Going back here and try that again. Okay. Now, at this point, this is the point where you need to have your mailgun issue, uh, issues all worked out, your Cloud media, which I'll see if digital ocean spaces works. I'm not sure if it will It'll be my first time trying that your domain name all of that. So I have all that set. So let's do it. Okay, my domain name is reclaim rocks. What do you think about our Mastodon server being called reclaim rocks? I think it's cool. And is this a single user mode? I'm going to say no, I want this to people to be able to create accounts at Reclaim who are associated with this. And we'll see where it goes, but I want it to be a multi-tenant host for many potential accounts. So the default is multi-tenant, which is what I want. Are you using um, Docker? No, I'm not. Post Greenhost, this is all default. It's nice. Boom, 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 boom. All done, same with Redis, 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 I don't know how they pronounce it. All default, don't worry, boom. Do you want to store uploaded files on the cloud? Yes, and that is absolutely a big point. You should, if you're setting up a Mastodon server, whether at Reclaim or wherever, offload your files. We've had ours up for like, a DS106 server up for like eight days, and it's up to 12 gigs, and there's 30 people on it. <laughs> that's a lot. And the reason why it's getting so many files, and I think Taylor mentioned this, is so many of those files are coming in from the federated and caching. So we need to set up some rules to stop the caching, but that could explode. If you have viral videos or other things like that, like that's st the storage could get really big, even if you clear it out month, uh, weekly. So do use especially on Reclaim Cloud, use cloud storage like Amazon S3, or in this case, I'm gonna be using DigitalOcean. Do you want to use, do you want to store uploaded files on the cloud? Yes, I do. There it is, DigitalOcean Spaces. This is new with version 4.0.2. It wasn't here previously. Another option is Amazon S3, which is what I've used on the DS106 setup, and that was, that's working. But there's also Minio, which you can host on Reclaim Cloud. But again, 
reclaimed cloud is not an object storage space. That's not ideal for that. So DigitalOcean might be your easiest and the best bet. So let's try it. Okay, what is the space name? <laughs> this is where, this is new to me. So the space name is, hold on. It is this. It is basically Reclaim Rocks. Let me try this. Let's see if I got this right. Reclaim Rocks. Good. And then it's in New York City 3. Yes. Space Endpoint. New York City 3 DigitalOceanSpaces.com. Correct. Space Access Key is this. Oh, this, this might be easier. Digital Ocean Spaces. So that's the key, and then I'm gonna have to put the secret key, which I'm gonna to have to change because it's gonna put this in plain text, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. We're gonna do that. Do you want to access the upload of files from your own domain? I kind of do, but right now I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna, I, I, cause I haven't set it up, but I would love to have something like files.reclaim.rocks. So I'll come back to this, but for right now, no. Do you want to send emails? I absolutely want to send email. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to send emails from my local host. Do not. Don't listen to me. You do not want to send them from your local host. You want to use a service like Mailgun, SendGrid, something else. So here it's no, and that's the default. So go with the default. And then you're going to say what, and they default all to Mailgun which is nice because this is our smtp.mailgun.org. That's the default, port 587 default. Username is your email address. So it's postmaster at reclaim.rocks because I set up all of that on the first go round. Beautiful. My SMT password, again, this will be in clear text, so I'm gonna have to change this, but um, that's fine. This is for demonstration purposes at this point. Oh, did they hide it? I'm gonna have to delete this all the way. And it's long, but it almost seems like they hit it. I don't know, let's see. We'll see, I don't know if they hit it or not. That one they don't show, but they do show the secret key, which is bizarre. SMTP, I'm just gonna use plain. Open SSL verify mode, I'm gonna do none. Um, start auto. And then the email from is just gonna be notifications at reclaim that rocks. I'm just dealing with them by default. Send a test. This is beautiful. I love that they do this. I wanna test it and see if it worked. Send test email to myself. So jimgroom at gmail.com. And then I'll know right now if it worked. Email cannot be sent. Try again. I think the reason is, try again, yes. The reason is, do you want them sent from local, is because of that password. Do you want them sent from local host? No. Yes, that's the default. Default postmaster at reclaim.rocks. Boom, that's all correct. Password, this is what I wanna get. Let's start this again. I think this is where I went wrong. Okay, plain, yes, none, auto, that's fine. Do you want to send one? Yes. And do I want to send it to jimgroom at gmail.com? It's always good to make. There it is. I was right. My password was all messed up. So the configuration will be written to .env.production, which is beautiful. That means all of this stuff will be saved. So yes, please do. If the database already exists, this will erase its contents. That's fine. There's no database. It's a brand new install. So yes. And it is now installing the database with all the various settings. The final step is compiling CSS and JS. This can be time intensive and consume a lot of RAM. That's fine. We set up our server with four gigs. Should be plenty. And this is working. So that is happening it's happening all right so we'll let that run and i'll go back and see space rocks futuristic get it. <laughs> rocks not rots that's also true do you all like 
reclaim that rocks scale of one to ten and i will not accept six if you put six just don't comment if it's six or less don't put anything in this chat okay so i have to say like hit that like and subscribe button and six is not acceptable thank you for coming to my stream all right and then this is just compiling that's all working this is good this is another instance i'm loving it and then after we're done with this we're going to exit out and then we're going to set up nginx and that's kind of i've done that enough times now that i'm not too concerned but that's where things can go a little bonkers so we'll see i'm here for it i like it I, you like it, I want a number. <laughs> Uh-oh, neither of you are getting it. Scale of one to 10, reclaim that rocks. I was thinking there was gonna be a little bit more excitement about it and not lying. <laughs> you wanna create an admin user straight away? Okay, heads up on this, you do wanna create an admin. This is the admin for the actual Mastodon application, right? So you do wanna do this. I'm gonna make it reclaim. And that is, wait, I'm going to say yes, I do. And then are they going to ask me what a username? I'm going to make the username reclaim. And then the email is going to be, this is always interesting. For right now, I can change this, but I'm going to make it myself. But I can change that. Um, or I can make other admins, so I'm not too worried. There's my password. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I have a document here, and I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna do reclaim. And there's that. And then what else did I have? That's, that's the password and the email. I need the email it's associated. So you need basically the email you've associated with, the admin name, which is reclaim for me, the email is jim at reclaimhosting.com, and then this password, copy those all down. Once you've done that, you're going to want to um, exit out of this right here. And then you're now out of the Mastodon user into root. And at this point, we're gonna start with Nginx. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna copy. And this is when we start getting into the web server um, Nginx. Um, which is kind of a, a replacement for Apache or like Lightspeed, it's similar. But Nginx can be confusing if you don't know it that well. So we're gonna be copying a version of nginx.conf into um, a file called um, sites available mastodon slash mastodon. So that's what we just did there. And then the next step is we're gonna do a kind of a sim link. So whatever that file has or we update that file with will also reflect in the sites enabled folder so they're basically linking the two files whatever you do to mastodon in sites available changes for sites enabled um, and that's that we've done that piece now we are going to start nginx we're gonna they're gonna ask us to reload it shouldn't have shouldn't have any problems with this right now at least yet so let's just see it's not active yeah it's never been started so there's no reloading it we just have to do start and control process exited so it doesn't look like nginx is starting i'm not surprised we have to do a couple of things there so let's go in and edit nginx so here yeah, we have to change all of these dot coms. I jumped that skip, that step, um, and do all the things that I know we have to do anyway. So let's start that. So at this point, we're going to be editing the Mastodon file that we just got copied over into sites available here. So I'm going to go into this file. And actually, for me, because I'm not necessarily a command line commie, I'm going to go into the config in Reclaim Cloud, and I am going to do a couple of things. 
I'm going to go into um, etc. Right, and then nginx. Where is that? That's the file where the nginx files and um, configs are, right here. So I am going to add that to favorites. So that will show up here. And I can do the same thing for home Mastodon Live, which is where Mastodon lives. So if I go home Mastodon Live and I add live to favorites, that allows me to access those two folders, which I'll need regularly and easily. So that's nice. Okay, so I now have um, everything installed. Noise Professor, what the hell is happening? <laughs> I am such a fan, big fan. So where I am, Noise Professor, just so you know, is I've installed um, pretty much everything, including Mastodon, and now I'm at Nginx trying to make sure, and this is actually one of the trickiest parts, trying to make sure it works cleanly. So um, let's look at sites available. There's two, there's a default and a Mastodon. I found that for me, for it to work on Reclaim Cloud, I'm going to go in and edit Mastodon, but then I'm ultimately going to default, um, delete the default and then rename this Mastodon default. In fact, I can do that right now. I'm just going to delete the default. And then I'm going to rename Mastodon default. I know it seems strange, and this is probably wonky and not necessary, but I know it works. So for what it's worth, let it be known noise professor amanda and lauren wow three whole four whole watchers big fan so anyway this is the nginx config file which is now called default and there's a couple of things we have to do here and it's odd and i can't explain to you entirely why <laughs> so know that but it did work and it continues to work so at least i can say on reclaim cloud do this and you will not complain right it's like you know, follow the word and <laughs> don't ask why. So you notice what I'm doing? I'm copying the listen here with the SSL HTTP and the listen here for 443 with SSL HTTP. And that's basically the HTTPS listen codes in Apache, but this is Nginx. So it's basically like listen over this port or listen to that. I have to get rid of the SSL HTTP in these two lines Un, or comment out these two, and this in this way it will work. So very strange. The other thing I have to do is I have to rename the domain Reclaim Rocks, which did not get a vote, a scale of one to ten. Just people said like it, which I don't believe. I'm not going to take that personal, but I am calling HR shortly. Reclaim that rocks is going to be our Mastodon server name, <laughs> whether or not you like it, um, and then. This is, I'm going to find all the places where it says example.com. There are four. I know this because I've done this that many times. Um, you're going to change it here on listen to port 80, right? The main HTTP. On listen to port 443, which is HTTPS, you're going to change it there. And then there's two file structures where you're going to need to change it. And we're going to uncomment these lines after we run our um, cert bot to get SSL. So we'll come back to this file. But for all intents and purposes, now that I've done this, Nginx will start and run, which is the problem I had right before. So I can now save this file. Okay. And if I go back here, there's the default file. And if I go back to SSH, I'm going to try that command again where I did to, I tried to restart Nginx. And let's just do start doesn't look like it likes me right now it doesn't okay so I gotta go back oh I know why one more thing yeah this is I've done this a lot and I'm still stupid all right the final thing is I've got to change this nginx conf this is the main one we were editing the default file in sites available I'm gonna go back to the main directory nginx and then go to this nginx conf file configuration file and I'm going to open that and you'll remember because it happened seconds ago that I changed the name from default from Mastodon to default 
And here on line 60, I'm going to now go and say, I want you to include not all files in that structure. And I don't know why this doesn't work, but it doesn't look for all of them. I'm going to say, just find in sites enabled the file called default. And when I do that and save this, all things being equal, it should now restart. So let's, let's try that. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go back to my web SSH and I am going to try it this time. And it worked. You'll know it worked because it won't give you an error. This is good. So now Nginx is running. My temporary changes to that file are going to get us um, to where we can run the cert bot. And then I'm going to do a couple of more edits and then we'll be done. Okay, so let's go back to installing from source. This is the reload Nginx. Um, <laughs> thank you, Professor. Thank you. I believe in you. How do you feel about the server being called reclaim.rock, scale of 1 to 10? 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, and 6 being unacceptable. Okay, so I did this. Nginx worked. And now I'm going to try and get an SSL cert. They give you cert by Nginx slash this with example.com, but mine's going to be reclaim.rocks. Scale of 1 to 10. So I'm going to put this in. Do reclaim.rocks. They're going to ask me for some information like my email. I'm going to do reclaimhosting.com. Boom. And then they're going to ask me, you know, do I build terms of service? Sure. 3.4. That's so messed up. What do you 3.4? You don't like it? Reclaim rocks? It really does. All right. It failed. That sucks. All right. Let's see why. So requesting a certificate for reclaim.rocks, performing the following challenges. HTTPO challenge for reclaim rocks. I know why it failed. This is good. I'm taking you through every piece that I forgot and then I relearned. You are now living with me. Okay. So it did fail. And you're like, damn it. Why did it fail? It failed because I didn't turn the damn firewall off on Reclaim Cloud. It's a <laughs> yes. Thank you. That's see if you have to look. The old thing is lie to me. That's the the bottom line. Lie, lie, lie. Yeah, it's a ten, baby. <laughs> Rox for life. Okay, let me let me not get sidetracked by the commentary, which is awesome. So I am now in my Reclaim Cloud server instance, and there's a place above called settings. And if I click on that, there is going to be a place on the firewall where I can actually change some settings. I should have done this and I didn't yet. I want to allow um, traffic over HTTP and HTTPS for both TCP and UDP. So not having done that, I got the fail. And that's my bell for my house. So there's nothing I could do about it. So I'm just gonna have to bear with me because if so, no one answers it, it could get really annoying in here. Okay, so I added both port 80 and 443, which we saw on the listen for the server, because that's where it's doing it. The fact that they weren't open is why we got the blockage. But to be sure, I'm going to turn the firewall off altogether. I do have to remember to turn it back on or else bad things can happen. But I do need to turn it off. And then I do need to go back to my um, command line. And then I do need to run the cert bot again. And it worked, it worked, it worked. You believed in me and it was true. Yeah. That's that. All things being equal, and I'm going to check my notes, we might have a Mastodon server at reclaim.rox. No, R-O-C-K-S. All right. So, oh no, we don't yet. I made that mistake before. So that's there. I'm going to quickly do these two things. This is the final two kind of like system start commands. And I've forgotten them before, but this time I will not. 
So uh, permission denied. I don't have to worry about that. That was my mistake. I, I do that every time because I just become robot mode where I copy and paste and don't read that I didn't need to do that command. So anyway, I am one command away from potentially having a, a uh, live server. I am going to go back. I did all the commands I needed to do on this installing from source. I am going to put the firewall back up and turn that back on. Now, the big piece, and I want someone out there in the audience to test this for me, is reclaim.rocks loading? Is there a Mastodon server? <sighs> 20 seconds behind so I'm gonna have to wait at least 20 seconds to get an answer and I'm really nervous to see if there is that oh, we'll see I don't know <laughs> will it lo will it load the thing is is it's four o'clock so I'm gonna get this thing up and running arguably in record time and then the only thing I'm going to test is the uploads whether they worked it doesn't work oh no too many oh okay good now stay tuned there's a reason why and that's good or maybe not good I don't know but I had to change something remember I said I had to change things back in the nginx file that's what happened that's why it's not loading so if I go to nginx into sites available, and I go into that default now, I'm gonna have to actually do a couple of things. Remember those two lines I uncommented, or I commented out? I'm gonna have to uncomment them, and then these two lines I added, I'm gonna get rid of. First thing. The other thing is now these two SSL cert comment lines need to be uncommented as well. So I'm gonna save that, and then I'm gonna restart Nginx. And I still, I'm feeling pretty confident, but we'll see. Confidence killed many a spirit. So restart Nginx. Because that was definitely, the, the error we got was an Nginx error. So, oh, ready? No, damn it. What? What did I do wrong? Where am I going wrong? I was so confident. Um, yeah, I, that that was not what that was not the the end game I wanted. Hold on. So we did this. We did that. Oh, there's one more thing. Jesus, if it's crazy how quickly I forget. So what happened is Certbot adds some things. Um. And when they add things, where are those things they added? Because that was one of the things we also ran into is CertBot added, there's a, a double, let me just see if I can find this. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. Uh, CertBot. Where are you, CertBot? Yeah, there's a place where CertBot might have added some other things, but I'm not seeing those here. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> this is this is truly a live performance. <laughs> it is. I I've done this and documented you pain in the ass, but let me see. <laughs> you still I, I feel I feel under pressure now. I I built this all up. I'm so close. All right, gosh, let me refresh this. Nginx, we got that, Reclaim Rocks, Mastodon, well-known, allow all. Then there's 443. Usually the SSL will write another set to the default, but I'm not seeing them. It's definitely something in here. I wonder. Still believe in me. Yeah, well, you're not going to believe in me for long. Let's see. 
try clearing your cache. There's too many redirects. Do it. Do it live on stage. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to look at something quickly. So let me see. I'm gonna get out of this, and then I'm gonna go into this, and I'm gonna look at my nginx file there because I'm so close. etc nginx. Ooh. X sites available. I think I did something wrong there. So let's see. And that's default. Uh, edit the default file. And then there's that. Root home. Allow all. SSL protocols. Cache. Uncommented those lines I did. Keep alive, send file. Boom, boom, boom. Use deployment. There's something that's so annoying because there's something in this. So here's what I'm going to do. And this is kind of tricky, but I'm going to do it and I don't care. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my config file from one I know that works. And then, so here's DS106 social. I'm gonna go in there and then I'm gonna look at the config file there and I'm gonna show you what was different. Sites available, there's the default. So this is on the DS106 Mastodon server. And you'll notice, see this? I had a whole bunch of second listens that I commented out but I'm not seeing them on the other one from managed by CertBot. See that? That's what I'm looking for, but I don't see them. But there's the server name and then the, the I don't even see the, the 80. They're at the bottom. See this? Error page. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. This is my risk. There's an 80 at the top like this whole like first listen one, I got rid of it and I'm gonna do that again. Screw it. Why not? Reclaim Mastodon. See this? I think this is extra. So you're so extra. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let me get out of this and I'm gonna go into the place. No. All right, I will not give up because Noise Professor believes in me, I'm not gonna give up. And no one else ranked it. <laughs> 3.4. Ugh. 3.4. What the hell's going on over here? All right. Anyway, default open. I am going to do this. See this? This, I think, is superfluous. I think I've already got that. I can't oddly get down, get down, get down to that piece. But I believe that this is already at the very bottom of the, of, the, of the server. Or am I wrong? No, it's not on this one. <laughs> Let me see one more thing. That's interesting. Okay, anyway, I'm going to try it. And then I have one more idea. Yeah, see this? Name DS106 Social. Where is that server name stuff showing up? Right? That's the question. Is it? No, it's not. It's server. Oh, what the hell? Let's just see. Server name, home, live public, location. Do, 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 do. Tell me that you want to be free. All right, I'm going to see uh, if this goes above that. I think that's right. This kind of really kind of got weird with the server setup, but I think this is going to fix it. I guess, I hope. Obviously, this can't be... Um, DS on the six social. This has to be reclaim rocks. Cause it does. All right. I think.
this is correct now. And before, I know I'm, I'm off on a tangent here, forgive me. Before, look at this. Where does that thing end? Does it end there? No. There's no closing here. Did I delete something in that beginning? Hold on one second. What? No. There's that. Do, 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 do. See that? No, it's right. Tell me that you want to be free. All right. All right. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confused, but I'm ready to try because what what can happen, right? What's the worst thing that can happen? Just doesn't work, but it might. And that's what we got to hope springs eternal in the human breast. So we're going to restart um, NGINX system CTL restart. And if we don't get any errors, that's going to be nice. And we didn't. And then we're going to go here and we're going to see if this Ah, damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Let's see. I didn't want to go this route. Why is it different? Okay, so watch what we're going to do. I'm going to take the whole Reclaim Mastodon thing, the whole damn thing, and I'm going to copy that on another file. So there's that. And then... I'm going to go, that site's available default, good. And then I'm going to go into DS106 social. Is that what we already had? Yes. Boom. Okay, so watch. I'll take that DS106 social, and everywhere that it says, re, it says DS106 social, I'm going to replace it. So let's try. Search, edit. Find DS106 social, no, social.ds106.edu. No, that US, Jesus. Okay, and I'm going to replace that with reclaim.rocks. Now, that should give me a working, a working um, config file. That's the, that's the goal, isn't it? All right, so that's on ds106social. Don't need to worry about that. I'm going to close that so I don't mess it up because that seems to be loading fine. And then I'm going to go in here and then I'm going to take this top part. And let's see. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. And it's all right with me. I'm going to try this once again. All right. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Engine X restarted. That's good. What? Okay. I got to start it. I got to try it on a different browser. Let's try it. I think it might be cash there. I have to believe. No. What the hell? All right. I can't believe this. Where? Let's just see one thing. All right. I'm not giving up. This, I'm sure you all are done, and that's understandable, but I am not giving up on this. Where did I mess up? Claim that rocks, claim that rocks. That's all good. Reclaim that rocks. Okay, so is there a problem with my default file? That's going to be the real question. Did I do something there and not fix it? That could be the case. All right, let's see. 60. 
default conf. All right, do I have to actually look at error files? Live, reclaim rocks, live. Listen, server name. And then, let's see, 136. Okay, let's just see something here. Definitely the server is running. It's 51.18.103. So could this be a DNS issue if I unproxy it? I can't imagine, but let's just see. Because they could be giving their own SSL certificate. But that's not the case. Damn it. <laughs> Reclaim rocks. So where did I go wrong? Rocks. Too many times redirected. So that was the error we had previously when I went to do something like this. So let me just see. System reload. Let's just try something like this. Shouldn't make a difference, but I'm not giving up. Okay. Or oh, don't do. <laughs> yeah. Where is that? Okay, so that's good. Big fan noise, Professor. Oh, so this is Reclaim Mastodon. I put all that stuff in. Reclaim rocks. Server name. Change rocks. <laughs> yeah. I think it will. Did I change? Did I misspell the domain somewhere? That's also possible. But it all looks good. See, this is where I told you the Nginx can sometimes. Let me just see if there's anything where it says added by certpot, yeah, managed by certpot. So here's this second piece. And I, oh, check this out. Let's just see. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, I'm going to try it. I don't know, but I had some luck with something similar of getting rid of this whole server thing. So I'm, I don't know if this is, hmm, I, I have my questions, but since Noise Professor believes in me, I'm going with it. Okay. That worked, so it didn't have a bad configuration. And then, damn it, why? All right, well, let me just try one more thing. Claim dot rocks. Uh, oh no, it worked. <laughs> Yes, that's what I'm talking about with Nginx. And because you believed in me, Noise Professor, and you stayed, that's why this works right now. The Nginx stuff can be confusing. And I think I need a better explanation. But ultimately, what fixed it, and it worked in different versions in different ways, which is why I had mentioned this as I was starting this. And I'm 20 minutes over I wanted to be because of this stupid thing. But... I do, and this is only like that because it cached. It will probably load here soon. Um, but anyway, I'll come back to that. But the problem was this. Yeah, amazing. I don't know about that. Could have been a lot better. Um, 
But, oh, we want to test something. So I'm not going to forget that because I got sidetracked. But the issue was this. Um, for life, indeed. Thank you. Thank you both for hanging around. And, you know, it feels good to have it fixed. So this whole thing here, um, this I copied from DS106's Mastodon. But this stuff was uncommented. But when I did the tutorial for setting up 4.0.2 with DS106.social, I had to uncomment this whole block. But it works on DS106 Social without an issue, which is why I, it's just weird. Um, DS106, I'm getting confused. DS106 Social was the test that never, it's just a test. Social.DS106.us is the one that's running, but has a different server config in Nginx. This stuff is not uncommented, yet it still works. But here, it has to be uncommented for it to work. Isn't that bizarre? Anyway, that was my issue. Here's the big thing I want to test, though, and then I do have to go. The big thing I want to test is, yes, that's so cool. The big, <laughs> now Nginx is the boogie. Now. Exactly, Amanda. Um, I want to test. So remember I created the reclaim user and the login? So I have Jim at reclaimhosting.com. Perfect. And then I'm going to go to my handy dandy file because I'm going to see if Amazon S3 worked. That's what I want to look at, just so you know. That's my final test. So I've got my password for this. I'm going to log in. So login works, which is beautiful. And then here is my profile. And then this is where I would toot. And then if you have a, an admin profile, you can administer users and all that. Like this gives you a lot of overhead. You can kind of see some of the different server elements like Postgre Hero and Sidekick, which I'm learning a bunch about. It's pretty cool. Anyway, Reclaim is for life. And it is. And it rocks. <laughs> and it rocks. <laughs> it's for you, Professor. Not a six. So this is going to be a silly one. Not a six ever. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to find an image. And I usually use, well, let me find a reclaim hosting image. Reclaim hosting logo. And then I'll do it on this Mac. And then there's that one. Put that there. Did it work? Oh, so what this means is that I now have images going into Amazon S3 versus AWS S3 or Amazon Spaces versus AWS, um, AWS S3, which is huge in terms of simplicity. It's so much easier. Um, so I can publish this. It worked. I could obviously change it to the Reclaim logo and all that, which I will. But the other cool thing, and let's look at this quickly, is here is Digital Ocean's um, spaces area. And then I'm going to look at Reclaim Rocks, and it has two items in it. And one of them is going to be, and it's got some weird file. Like, you can see how the files, they are crazy. It's like 109. But this is offloading cloud storage to Amazon, no, to DigitalOcean's S3. I mean, DigitalOcean Spaces. Jesus, I'm inexact. And this, God, the, Jesus, that file structure is miserable. This is the actual image. <laughs> it's on, see that? It's on DigitalOcean. It worked. That's awesome. So at least that. Not all the worst. Thank you all for... Uh, tagging along and encouraging me. I probably would have given up if I hadn't thought that were people there and it would make for a kind of dramatic ending. I do have to bolt out of this, but that's another Mastodon instance installed and Nginx is the boogeyman. You're right, Amanda. At the same time, um, Reclaim now has Mastodon and uh, I'll set that up and kind of tweak it in a little bit and then I have to change some passwords and everything else, but all using this guide installing from source. You can do it on Reclaim Cloud. As you can see, it can kind of be a, 
a bugabear at some points with Nginx, but I'm, we're close to getting that solved. And actually, I'm glad to say my documentation that is on my blog and that I'll be turning into documentation for Reclaim Hosting um, will uh, have the right, at least what made it work here. Um, so this is not um, wrong. And <laughs> if anything else, to your point, it will take us through getting it. So anyway, that's it. You all rule. Thanks for watching. I'm going to end the stream, but not before I say, for life. Yay!